good morning uh, everyone so first of all i would like to thank everyone for coming so you have invested the time that you have and if, if it is going to be a saturday morning right so not everyone uh, will uh, will do it so thanks for that so yeah so this is a there is going to be a very short talk on how i started uh, contributing to the open source just with an readme file so uh, everyone will think like uh, it is going to be open source there is going to be a lot of coding so i just want to i'm i'm trying to with this speech i'm trying to break that myth so that is my uh, whole idea so it is like i i will walk you through the process of the uh, open source contribution i would say it is a uh, it is a process rather than um rather than buzzing with lot of buzzwords so please bear with me uh, i will make sure like uh, you will have a good uh, hold of the process of contributing to the open source so that like we should give back to the society in some way or the other right so that is the overall intention of the talk so everyone knows uh, what is the readme file right so everyone is comfortable awesome cool so before jumping into it like who am i uh, so i am a qa with 6 plus years of experience and then like uh, most of the things uh, this is this is uh, this is what i do basically so it is like uh, i i love bike riding a lot so uh, and then like uh, i will obviously i work at thoughtworks so i started contributing and i do run some youtube channels uh, and then like uh, i roam a lot so this is my elder son's uh, elder sister's son so obviously you could see some of the faces here so these are the friends uh, whom i hang out with so that is a short uh, crisp about me so that is like how uh, who am i that, that is done so like let's jump into the topic so what is open source so uh, i just want to hear from you people like what do you what do you think like what is an open source uh, project or community driven project okay then any other answers awesome yes any other awesome so yeah that is the perfect answer the thing is like the source code is open for you so it is like uh, let's say uh, the I I iOS you will not be able to see the coding actually but in the case of other things let's take the example of selenium so obviously everyone will be aware of the selenium thing right obviously you can uh, if you just do a google search github selenium obviously you will land in a page where you can uh, so you can see look into the code of the selenium so that is the beauty of the open source world and like even like uh, recently microsoft acquired github why so so there are uh, lots of open source it, it is going to be the future so that is the primary idea so we have already closed the source closed source is nothing but proprietary software where you cannot see the code it is as it is as simple as that so we have completed what is open source part and why so i personally feel like uh, when you when you want to do something right the why part is more 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 important so i'm wearing this t-shirt right so i just started contributing to the open source just for this t-shirt because in thoughtworks you will have uh, you will you can see large number of people wearing this t-shirt so like okay many of them wearing this like why can't i i just want to give it a try and then like uh, i i'm i'm not that super good at, at coding but i'm i'm just improving in that part but i, I just did i i'm just got this t-shirt just by contributing things a readme file so that is the whole story i just want to share so this is my why part uh, i guess like you should find your own why part for the contributing maybe uh, this is this is going to be a simple reason obviously like if if i'm planning to give a t-shirt to you obviously you can do something right so yeah and then like it, it is not only that uh, we can it obviously it will add uh, value to your resume let's say like if you are going for an interview and then like uh, you uh, let's say obviously if you are going for an interview uh, there should be a differentiating factor why i should hire you so obviously if you contribute to the open source world surely you will stand out in the crowd and second would be like uh, you can give back something to the like uh, open source code. let's say you can contribute to the even for a selenium also you can contribute it uh, yeah and finally obviously like it, it is a global thing right so you can collaborate with uh, people who 
are at a standard like uh, th there will be certain standard that can that will be set right so you can uh, you can improve yourself to uh, to reach to that standard so that like you will improve a lot in turn yeah the prerequisites would be like uh, you should have lots of energy so like you should push yourself like, to know more things and then like uh, the, the basic uh, github commands i will it it, it is, let's going let's uh, do it in two minutes actually so it is going to be working directory stage area local repo and remote repo so most of the things the remote repo will be the source of truth that will be the source of truth actually so when you add a git add you will you will add files to the git add to the staging area and after that if you commit it it will be in your local repo and then if you if you push the changes to the remote repo it will be added to the source of truth till now you are with me right or any confusions super cool yeah and the same process uh, applies in the reverse also let's say you want something from the source of truth that is remote repo you need to uh, you need to pull first pull it and then like in the local repo your changes will be there and if you want to uh, work uh, in that particular thing you will be you, you will do, you should do a git checkout and git merge if necessary so it is a short glimpse because like in the second uh, second uh, half of the day you will you will do a lot of git checkout you should do what is happening it is a overall idea cool so uh, like we have uh, we have seen what is an open source why we need to do it so i will walk you through the process how you can do it so in my uh, in my uh, journey i would um, i would break down the things into these eight number of steps the first would be identifying foreign repository for the issue so that like you can contribute so you, you should start you should have the starting point right so you should search for a repository or an issue the second one is fork the repository to your own repo, uh, repository so i will i will i will not only explain this like uh, this eight step process i will demo in a in a while actually so that like you will get a good grip on the processes so the second one would be you should fork the repository which you are interested in and the second the third step would be you should you should uh, clone the repository so what will happen in the real world uh, let's say uh, th there is going to be a hello world program that that is that that is what we are interested to contribute okay and after that what we need to do we need to fork that repository and then clone the repository clone the repository in the sense obviously you will have a local uh, project where you will when you do a run it will print a hello world that's it. it it is as simple as that and after that you need to create a branch to be in safer area i am saying so because so that is the source of truth. let's imagine like uh, selenium you are you are aspiring to contribute to the selenium project and then you have forked to the repository in your repository okay and after that i'm i'm stressing to create a new branch because we should not screw up the original uh, source of truth which is up and running which is well and good so just to make sure we we will be uh, creating a new branch and then we will be adding our code and then we will be doing all this stuff so obviously uh, this is where uh, the, the real picture comes in cuckoo your code or in in our case we will be editing the readme file it is i just want to make it simple that's why i'm taking the readme file and then parcel it and then raise pull request and it is going to be the eight one it is going to be a quite secret i will convey at the end so yeah it's demo time let's see how it goes so here um, i i am having two repositories here so i have two users here so the first one would be it, it, it is going to be mine it is called praga praga so please uh, remember the name at, uh, for a while so this is going to be the like uh, what do you call so let's take the project idia pamanna okay so this is the project which we want to uh, contribute okay so my simple requirement is I so this is a hell a lot of text content. I just want to add a smiley. That is the requirement actually. So what I will do, 
um, so anyone can raise, uh, raise issues. Uh, even if you go to Selenium, right? Selenium GitHub, we have, we have 479 issues actually, even though we use Selenium, but there are 479, uh, 479 issues that are open. So I just interested in creating a new issue. I just want to add smiley in readme file. So that is my issue. So, so I have raised an issue. Okay. So, uh, I, so I have created another user called prac 24. So this is the uh, person who, who wants to contribute uh, to the readme uh, smiley thing. It's okay. Yeah. So I, I'm just searching. So my username is Praga Praga. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to search. So this is the search process that I have uh, listed down in the process. So this is, I'm landing in Praga Praga. So I'm interested to contribute uh, to the, this project called Idea Pamanna. So like uh, we, we just want to fork this. So this is the user. I, I'm just going to fork this project. It is like, uh, it is going to be a real term terminology. If you want to, let's say your friend is eating and then you, you just want to taste uh, like uh, his dish. You just want, you will be forking using fork and you will be taking the project. So kind of imagine that way so that it will be kind of fun. So I have just forked. So when I go to this source of truth here, when I try to refresh it here, this, this says uh, one person forked the repository. Here you can see one person forked the repository. So yeah, so after this, uh, our requirement is to edit this readme file. So let's edit it. Uh, okay, let's add a smiley over here. So let's preview the changes. So you will have a smiley over here. So this is the change that we are doing. Obviously in real time, like uh, you will be doing it in a code. So that like, there will be obviously, the, there will be conflict will happen. Every single issue will happen to us. We should overcome that. And then like now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to commit these changes. So uh, remember every, uh, remember one thing, everything that we are doing is in our forked brand, uh, forked thing. So you can see uh, like uh, Prag 24 Idiapamana, but the source of truth is Praga Praga Idiapamana it is. Till now you all are with me, right? Cool. Yeah. So after this, you should uh, you should raise a new pull request. New pull request in the sense we uh, so we have what we did we have forked the project and then we did some changes. We have just added a smiley. Okay. And after that, like uh, just to um, uh, streamline the process, this pull request is being introduced. So what we have done, we have forked the repository and then we have added a sm small smiley and then we are creating a new pull request just to inform the main collaborators to show, hey, this is what your requirement and this is what I have done. So uh, review the changes kind of thing. So we are going to create a new pull request. Let's add please. Yeah. So after this, you will get a, a notification. Yeah. Uh, okay. So here you can see the go to the pull request. So here, this is what we have added. Please update the readme file. And then let's say if we are merging this pull request, when we do a confirm merge, now this is the source of truth, right? That idea Pamana, you will have a smiley here. So this is how the whole process works. Uh, just to add, 
like uh, in real time uh, you will have to uh, like there will be a lot of threats that will be going on let's do another one more comment so let's close this issue actually like uh, it, it has been done right so we have added a smiley so let's close this issue let's raise one more uh, issue another smiley so i'm creating a new issue and then like uh, you will be seen here so so in this case let's uh, like uh, in real time there will be a lot of uh, conversation that will happen in real time let's say uh, i'm interested to add a smiley like since you have, since you know the process you will also interested in to add the smiley right so what you can do uh, you can ask shall i take this issue to praga praga so he will be he is the like owner of the repository right so when you comment it he will receive a notification and then in the assignee thing right so your no name will be displayed since you have commented in that particular section so let's say i am assigning this to prac 24 so that like others will not take that particular issue so it it, it is communicating like he is working on this issue and you can also say so like uh, obviously like it is a open source world right so nothing comes for free so nothing comes for free in the sense like everyone should invest that time so you can uh, you can assign up to 10 people to that particular issue let's say i am not free and then he is interested he can work on that particular issue and then contribute to, so that like picture will be complete so uh, now you can see praga praga assigned a pro this particular issue now so obviously all these things you will get an email like the, the you have been assigned this issue so the overall picture will be tracked so so yeah so here yeah i have just uh, issued okay and then uh, again i will go to the readme file okay readme file again i will edit it uh okay you know the process now <laughs> here also you can see uh, this is your let's make sure uh, you are doing it in your thing so again let's edit it again idia pamanna so let's add a smiley on the top so that we can visibly yeah we can see the changes again commit the changes obviously okay we should raise a pull request new pull request so this is the change that we have made uh update read me again create a pull request and then like here i just want to know one process let's say actually i'm just uh, raising the pull request right in real world what will happen is um so th there will be a series of tests that will be configured so let's say so, so serenium is a big project right so there will be a series of tests that, that will be configured so if if there is going to be any test failure right so uh, you your pull request will not be raised only if the test case passes all the test case if gets passed the pull request it will be raised in a real world i'm just saying so yeah we have just raised the pull request and then up okay this is mine right okay obviously you will get a notification uh go to pull request uh okay this is the readme thing i'm happy i'm going to merge the like i'm just going to merge the pull request uh and then i'm going to see the idea pamana like source of truth and i have a smiley here so yeah uh okay let's finish it out like um hope 
you had a good hold of the overall process so yeah so this is the secret step so you should you should repeat because like consistency is the key so once you do a whole set of process again and again and again you will get used to it obviously so yeah that is the overall talk is all about yeah you can connect me connect with me in linkedin github and like i do run a youtube channel in tamil so i just want i love to share my knowledge always so thanks a lot for your time thanks